Hi guys, it's Leah and Mary here from A Fab Life. And we're here talking about wardrobe staples. You know what we mean, that fashion foundation, those pieces that every woman needs in her wardrobe. And today, we're talking blazers. Mary, you're looking so collegiate in your blazer today. Well, thank you, Leah. I would you're say welcome. likewise. Thank you. Did you guys know that the blazer actually originated in 1825 out of wow. Lady Margaret Boat Club? Now, this was not a women's club, even though it was called Lady. It was a man's club. Yes. And they were called blazers because they were red. They were blazing red blazers. I love that. Mm -hmm. Well, the name stuck, but the color didn't because mm -hmm. in the early 1900s, Blazers became popular for country wear. Mm -hmm. So basically it was like the men's version of comfy clothes. Right. When they would leave their suits in the city and go to their country estates. I love and it. they would wear like, you know, a different colored mm -hmm. blazer with a different colored pants. And that was considered like casual. So when did it come into that women started wearing blazers? We can give the credit to Coco Chanel, who in 1920 introduced the blazer as women's wear, which is pretty revolutionary and funky. Definitely, I mean, a huge step in women's fashion which sparked the menswear trend, mm -hmm. which I'm a big fan of. I just call it boyfriend wear or fiance wear or fi oh, soon to be hubby wear. <laughs> Proving that your collegiate wear doesn't have to be so serious. We have Jessica here with a little gray mini skirt. She's got a fun little statement necklace and little red sneakers, which I think is super cute and fun and age appropriate and she like it's a like Gossip Girl vibe. You know? I like it. It reminds me of like a little uniform. Yeah. It's like how to wear your uniform out of school. Not necessarily that you'd want to, but a blazer is such a great piece of a uniform. Mm -hmm. We also have Lois, who is a much more tailored look with her classic blazer over long cream trousers, a matching cream top. I mean, I feel like no woman could go wrong in this outfit. No. She it's looks fabulous. Beautiful line, slimming, gorgeous, classic. So my little black blazer here is a little bit oversized, which I like, kind of long, and I always cuff the sleeves because it makes it feel a little bit more feminine for me. I paired it with just like a fun little polka dot dress, little tights and booties. Very cute, Mare. I like Thank it, you. I like it a Thank lot. Thank you. I kind of went more of a funky route because I feel like blazers can get a bad rap of being like so corporate serious. and so serious. So I paired mine with just some fun, cozy, awesome little pants, some cute little wedges, mm -hmm. a graphic tee, you know, representing, representing. Right. And then some big funky, funky earrings, also representing California, Los Angeles, but also me because I'm Leah Ashley. Hey now. And then the best part about blazers? You can pop the collar. Pop it, pop it. Right? Pop that collar. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please show us the love and like this video. And also subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide for more cool, fun videos to learn everything you need to know. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye. Bye. It's all about the blazer, baby. <laughs>